my friends and hello welcome welcome back to my channel my name's dahlia and i hope you guys are all having an absolutely wonderful day today so i'm just chilling here in the plaza with leaf we got grizzly and <laughs> philbert doing the zoomies um i don't know i was hanging out here with leaf and then they both just came in and decided to start running around so you know we'll just we'll work around them as Philbert's like just running around me now. Alright, anyway, so today we're just gonna play a little Let's Play video. Really cute and casual, very simple. Um, only thing I have really planned for this is that I really want to start springifying my island. Obviously, if you've seen my island, it's not like my island isn't like spring decorated, but there are a few areas that I want to change up. Namely my house, like my house interior, I want to change my kitchen a little bit. So I thought I'd uh, hang out with you guys while I do that. And then there's a few areas I just want to like add some custom coats to and some flowers and things. Just really keeping it simple today. Um, yeah, so we're hanging out with Leaf. Say hi Leaf. Hello. Alright, perfect. Okay, as you guys can see, it's April 2nd both in game and the actual day. I know shocking, I'm actually on the correct day of the week, correct day of the year, to be honest. And um, it's cherry blossom season. Beautiful, looks so pretty. Definitely not my island aesthetic. I'm going for more like the lush green, but totally fine. Ooh, and there's one other thing I wanted to do was um, change my house exterior. We're not, um, let me just grab this real quick. Oh, one second. There we go. Um, I want to change my house exterior. It's really Christmassy. I have like the mum wreath up here that I want to keep, but um, I want to change the exterior. So I did change the wallpaper already to the common wallpaper. I really like it. I like that it's a little bit brighter. I had like, I think it was dark brick before, but this is definitely cuter. I'm um, going to be changing up the colors of the turkey day things, keeping this, but just changing the colors, maybe moving a couple of the items and stuff around, but yeah, going to change up my house exterior. We're not doing a house exterior or like my front yard build just quite yet, but we could still, you know, change the colors so it looks a little less uh, Christmassy. Um, so I'll be back in a moment and I'll show you the guys the things I'm going to be changing the room with. Okay, so I removed the table and I customized it to change the color. So before we um, put down the new color variation, I'm just going to quickly change the flooring. To go with the common wallpaper, I'm just going to use the common flooring. It's brighter and lighter than the one I was currently using. Um, I could have technically used... Like I had a couple of other, oh sorry, I had a couple of other options I was thinking about, like maybe the pine, like look at this, the pine one looks like, but it's a little too like, I don't know, orange toned for me. Um, so we're going to stick with the, the common, it just works the best and it looks super cute. And because we're already in like the, um, decorate your your house thing. I don't know what this is called, actually. Anyway, because we're already in this, we'll just use this for the decorating. Um, so I have the table. I changed it to the lighter color, which I think looks super cute. I love the green. I like that they did um, two color variations for Turkey Day. It's really good. It's really nice. So I have the casserole. I just changed it to the green one. You know, keeping it very simple. And instead of putting, I don't know, I have the frying pan still. I guess we can just put that back. It has like this, the veggie saute, which every time I see it, I really want like a veggie, like teriyaki stir fry or something. I don't know. This sounds really good every time I, every time I see it, I, I crave like a really good veggie um, meal. Um, and then I have the settings that I changed to the green. It's just so cute. I, like, I basically just changed all the color variations to the green. Like, look how pretty it looks. Ugh. Okay. And then I changed the chairs too. They look so cute. Add both of them. Perfect. Let's see what it looks like. Look how cute. Look how much that changed everything. 
Oh, I'm obsessed. It's so cute. It kind of goes with what I'm wearing today, actually. Which, by the way, um, if you would like this dress for yourself, I will be leaving the creator code in the description as well as at the bottom of the screen here for you guys. This is super, super cute and it actually comes in um, a variety of skin tones because as you can see at the very top, there does have a little bit of skin, like um, the chest area has a little bit of skin tone on it. So like there is color variations for everyone. And I think this comes in like, there's like this color and then it comes in like a white lavender, like a white one that has like lavender flowers in it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, back to the, the task at hand. Yes, we have this super, super cute. Um, what else can we do? What else can we do? I also have the new um, plant, the for forsythias. Forsythias? Am I completely butchering that? Um, yeah, so I got that. Maybe we can put it... Maybe replace this one. See how it looks. I ordered, like, so many of them. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, look at it. Oh my god, I love that. Okay, so we're gonna keep this area. Like, there's a there's a juice dispenser and a little um, blender, which I still think looks really cute. I'm debating whether to leave the pudding here. I'm actually oh, did not mean to pick that up. Okay, hang on. What I'm actually thinking I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the things back. I just put down. No, not the yucca. Oops. Okay. I'm gonna put this back because I like the color of it. And then I think I have a mom's homemade cake. Yeah. We're going to put the mom's homemade cake here. It has carrots on it. It's very bright. I think the color looks really nice in the room. And I think that might be everything we're changing. Like, I know it was very little <laughs> for changing, but like everything else just looks really good. Maybe, maybe we can change the walls up a little bit. Hang on. I don't know what we got. Let's see. Um, let's actually get rid of this. It's kind of dark toned and it's a little bit doesn't quite go with the space. We'll keep everything else hanging up. Oh, I did get, hang on, I got a new macrame thing. Like a different version of the macrame tapestry. Where is it, where is it, where is it? The tap, the turkey one. How does that look? No. It's a little too, too orange. Hang on, hang on. What else we got? I keep pressing the wrong buttons. You can tell I never use this, like, because I suck at decorating with it. Hang on. Maybe a mom's embroidery? It's very floral, so I could definitely go with, like, ooh, maybe I can put two. Like, I have this one, and then I can put, like, another one here. Um, which ones do I have? Let's see. I can put the little duck one. Let me see what else I have. Do, 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 a lot of painting, some posters. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we'll just go with the other mom's embroidery. This mom, this, these two are my favorite. The mom's embroideries, definitely. Are they even? I think they're even. Yeah, they're even. Okay. I think that's cute. It has a little additional touch. I don't have, like, too much space on my walls. I don't want to, like, overcrowd the wall areas. Um, I think that's pretty cute. Alright, we did that. What do you think? I like it. I like it. And as you guys know, my, um, bedroom is still decorated for Christmas, but I have to, like, completely overhaul and get rid of a bunch of furniture and like change stuff up so that'll be a different video probably in the next week or two i think i already know what i want to um change the furniture out for i don't know why we went into the bathroom i think we were just looking to see if there's anything i needed to decorate there but that's pretty springy um the back area room here is my um guest room i guess you can call it which i think is pretty pretty springy Oh my god, I have bugs. You didn't see this. <laughs> you did not see proof of my time traveling. Okay. I think we're done in here. We'll make our way out into the, the world, into the island. Grab a couple of, um... 
flowers. Let's see, we're gonna grab some mums. We're gonna grab some hyacinths. Why am I only grabbing white? So let's grab some yellow. No, not pansies. Yellow mums. Yellow hyacinths, yellow cosmos. We're going really white and green and yellow on this island now. I become a spring core island without intentionally becoming a spring core island. I swear to God, it didn't intentionally happen. Um, but if you guys, okay, do you want to see what I want my whole island to look like? Hang on, I will, I will meet you guys on my recent build and I'll show you exactly what I want my island to look like. Okay, so if you've seen my last speed build, which I literally posted, I think, yesterday the day before, um, two, three days ago, ish, um, we made this bee farm for Marty. It is decked out to the nines with flowers and it's beautiful and it connects to Paco's area. I'm insanely proud of this, this build. I think it's probably one of my favorite spots on my island, like, hands down now. Um, so yeah. This is, this is what I want my island to look like. Just yellow and white and green, which is literally just saying I want my island to be spring core, but I still want it to have like forest core and like cottage core elements. So like I want forest core because I want a lot of trees and like I still want to use the brown dirt path um, because if you actually come over here, you'll see that I still have the brown dirt path on my island. It's right here. And like, look how pretty the transition is between the two paths. I think they work really nicely together. So I'm, I'm not getting rid of this path. And like this little stump path too is super cute. And then if you go over here, here's my other recent build, which was Paco's little outdoor bath slash spa area. I'm also obsessed with this area. I think it's so pretty. Um, yeah, this is basically what I want my whole island to look like. Basically just take these two areas and put them together and that's what my whole island should look like. With with like the forest core and cottage core elements. Like I still want it to have lots of trees and this path and then I still want it to be very cluttered like cottage core. But this whole area here, like I'm obsessed with my orchard. I'm not going to change it. I think I might replace these stumps with the, um, the daisy path. So what I think we'll do, we'll open up the designer app. I think the first thing that we can do is replace the, because I just said it, is replace those wooden, um, those wooden planks with the daisy path. So let me just quickly grab the daisy path. Like, look how pretty it is. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly get rid of these. I think I can fit the daisy path in here. I know it's two by two. I might have to move some things around to make it work, but I can make it work. Or I'll just use, what I'll do is I'll, so okay, so we'll start up here. Get rid of this, get rid of this weed. So I'll put this here. Like I can already sp feel the spring in the air <laughs> just by putting down one path. Like look how cute it will look with, with the trees. This back area is probably one of my favorite areas too. It's super cute. Also, I will say I love this brick path, but I'm not sure if I want to keep this particular one. Um. For the rest of my builds i really really like it but i honestly think that i might go for something more brown toned um this one's like really really um red toned like if you can not red like kind of like a pinky pinky brick color that you would see like on houses you know what i mean um so i'm thinking maybe to go with like a more brown toned one would be a better alternative. So we'll just go like this and then go down here. Um, haven't still fully decided. I was looking at brick paths like yesterday, I think. Um, and I found a few that I actually do really like. So we'll see if I end up going with something different, but for the time being it's staying and it's still really cute and I still really like it. Um, just have to move this over and we'll get rid of this. This is another thing, these little tiny floral um, patches I have. I have two of them. This one 
three actually. I'm keeping this one. But I have this one and this one. And like I'm still trying to decide if I want these or if I want something like bigger like this and like this. Like something a little bit more less cluttered and tiny. Um, but I'm getting completely off topic here. We're not talking about codes I want right now. We're just, we're focusing on the codes we currently have and working with what we got because I still have like over 30 slots left to fill with the new custom codes. And I'm super excited to figure out which ones I want to, want to include. I was looking at some the past few days and I have so many ideas. <sighs> And what's funny is I'm already thinking about my new island, like the island I'm going to be doing after this. And um, I have to focus on the fact that I still have this island, oops, oops, I still have this island left to build and I'm not giving up this island until I've finished <laughs> decorating it because we still have about half an island left to build and we still got to get Poppy and like all of these things still need to happen before we can move on to a new island. But I have, I think my new island theme in mind. And I'm just really excited to start on that. But that won't be for another, like, at least a month or two. This island needs to be finished first, so. You know. This is wrong. What am I supposed to be doing here? Hang on. Is this supposed to be just a straight one? Like this one? Yeah, that's right. Okay. And then we'll put the... Daisy in the middle, or should we do the? We'll do the leaf, and then we can do the daisy right here. Like, look at these additional. Oh, they're so cute! These little additional stones. Look how cute that looks. Here, let me just move this back, and let me put this back. The hand cart. Move it around. Like, look! It made the world a difference. Like, how cute. Like, I just want to add little bits like this to my already existing areas. Maybe we can add... This one? Here? Like, look! Look how cute! Oh my god, I love it. Okay, we'll keep this here. We'll add the leaf one here. Get rid of this flower behind here because you can't see it. Molly's in her house. Maybe we can stop in and say hi. Molly's house is another area I love. Like, look how pretty it is. She has her own little plant shop. Super, super cute. I think we're actually gonna leave this area completely alone. It's still really small and quaint and there's not a lot of like service area to work with. Um, we're just gonna quickly get rid of that flower because it should not be here. So that must have grown in by mistake. I think there's a, yeah, hang on. Oh, sky egg, yay, how fun. Okay, anyway. Yeah, and then this area we're keeping exactly the same. I'm obsessed with my campsite if you haven't seen it. I did like a remodel of the campsite where I added like this little picnic slash like additional tent area and I love it. Maybe we can add some codes here, keep it really simple. Um, didn't mean to do that. Can I add one on the ground here? No, I can't. That actually looks really cute. Let me add actually maybe <laughs> the leaf one over here. Nope. I haven't tried. Oh, these look really cute on like the sand. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Oh my god, I love that. Yeah, there's not much really to add here. <laughs> I really like the way that this area looks. Maybe change this one to the flower. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go have to go around and like just add some finishing touches here or there to some things. Oh, one thing I did want to do, I kind of think I might change, the, let's change this path to the um, daisy one too. Okay, look how much better it looks now. Like it looked fine before, it was cute. 
but look how good it looks with the daisy path. Look how, oh my God, I love it. It's so cute. And then I added like a couple more of the stones over here in between the wooden planks. It just, it works, you know? It's super cute. And it works really well with the, um, the picnic blankets. I'm happy with this. I think that it looks really good. All right, okay. This area is done. This area, we're not talking about it. Now, this, I don't know if I like this anymore. This is like the enchanted um, forest thing I did. But I did it back in winter and it looks so cute in winter and I still really like it. I might have to change it just a little bit. We'll leave it for today, but you know, you know. And you know I have like a love-hate relationship with my entrance. This whole thing has to change. This whole thing has to change. This is staying 100%. I love my, this is like my farmer's market, flea market on the beach. It looks awesome. You have like an art stall, place to buy clothes, a little honey stall, little fish area. Like it's super, super cute. Little place you can buy plants. Like it's, it's super cute and it's staying. I love it. And I like that the Nooks is right here, and then the Able Sisters is up there, but I have to change it. I have to. I don't like this little seating area I made anymore. And I don't know if you saw my last video, I got rid of like this whole thing with the water. This is all gone. Completely removed. It's not a Bunny Day Balloon, so we'll take it. I already have all the DIYs, so the only thing I'm getting in Bunny Day Balloons is Sky Eggs, which like I already have a bunch. Um, which I've like for some reason have collected in my storage like I don't know I don't know Ooh, 5,000 don't mind if I do okay last area I just want to quickly kind of change up a little bit is over here I love this space but it's really like I don't know Christmassy it's the red it just it throws me off I want to get rid of these plant some of the new flowers I grabbed. Those flowers over there can stay. They look like they're in like a row, which is bugging me. So maybe I'll change that. All these black tulips have to like be moved. I don't know. Maybe it's, I don't know. Something about it is bugging me. We have yellow, uh, yellow mom we already have over there. We'll do yellow Cosmo here. This doesn't even look good. Why is this like this? I don't like this. Maybe this one? That's exactly like it was before. Something's not right here. There's something off about this. I don't know. I don't like it. <sighs> Things have to change and I don't know what to change them to, you know? We'll put that back there for, for now. Okay, so we have that planted. We'll plant another one right here. And do the white. White hyacinth, I guess. Yeah. Um, I don't think I grabbed white cosmos. That's what I wanted. No, it's okay. Alright, and then we'll plant a yellow hyacinth here. See, I already- oh, nope, can't put one here, never mind. See, I put, um, a little daisy here, which I think looks super cute. Maybe we can go up to the cliffs and change some things. If I can get up here, there we go. Um, get rid of this one. I don't think I can plant here in the middle, can I? Nope. Okay, we'll just put that there. This little duck up here is so cute. Um, can I plant there? Okay, I can plant behind it. Can I plant on this there? Okay, I can plant there. Um, we'll get rid of this weed and I'll replace it with that flower that I just accidentally planted here. I don't know if I can get it now. Oh, it's not gonna let me grab it, is it? Nope. This game is so confusing with mechanics. I hate it. Okay, we'll just, hang on, add some more flowers over here. Just fill the whole thing up, you know? Um, 
a white mum. Okay. And then we'll put the here. Okay. So when this grows in, it'll look a little bit better. Oh, you know, it's the little things. It's the little things. Can I get over here? And we'll put another... Maybe yellow mum. What is this? I have no idea how that's in my inventory. Alright, okay. You can see I'm like all over the place. I don't even know. Can I even get out of here now? I don't think I can. Jump, there we go. And we'll go to the other side. I hate decorating cliffs because it is so hard to navigate them. Like it's so hard to get up and down, you know? Basically I'm just planting flowers at this point. Like there's nothing else I can think to do to add, add things. Yellow mum, white hyacinth. We'll get rid of this one and put the flower, which I think will look cute. Oh, it's super cute. Oh, okay. And then we I have like another one up here already put. Like you can see, like I was doing it slowly, just like adding things here or there. Let's put a green mum that I just so happen to have in my inventory. <laughs> Um, this part's all good. And then we'll just quickly go over and do like Eric's house. Which I already said I wanted to change a little bit. Maybe get rid of this one. Put the leaf here. And then maybe plant a white mum. Good. Okay. This area is super cute though. This area is fine. This one I did like in a separate build, but here over needs a lot of work. Like it needs to be changed up. Get rid of this. Maybe put white, no, I already have a white mum there, hang on. Get rid of the white mum and we'll put a yellow Cosmo. I think I only have one, yeah. I only have one left. Okay, that's better. And then, over here, can I plant anything in this area? I might not have space to plant anything here. Let me just see if I can. Nope, okay, that's fine. We'll plant behind it. Get rid of this, plant behind it. And we'll do a yellow hyacinth to go with the white one that's beside it. There, that's cute. Okay, this is fine. I love this little tree farm, it's super cute. Um, we'll just go back here, get rid of this. No one comes back here anyway, so I'm not too concerned about this looking decorated, but, you know, we can do a few things. Put down a yellow mum. Mm -hmm. This one, cute. This video is really just turned into me putting down flowers and that one pattern. Let's just throw like a bunch of flowers up here. They look like really overgrown and pretty. Um, I have another green mum. Do 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 white mum. Uh, white hyacinth. See, not much, not much to, to add. <laughs> just randomly throwing things down. When in doubt, just throw down flowers, I guess. And weeds. We'll throw some, some weeds. Oh, okay, we'll just, th we'll throw down a weed. Uh, another weed. Another white mum. Yellow mum. We're out of flowers. <laughs> um, and then we'll put another little, I think the leaf pattern back here. Good. See, look, that'll look so much prettier when it's all grown in. And one more of the, the leaf ones. I want to keep the leaf ones. I need to use more of the leaf. I'm using the um, flower more than I'm using the leaf, and I want to make sure I use both. What do I have in here? Maybe a green leaf pile. I already have a green leaf pile. Okay, we'll just leave that area there. Uh, maybe I can put a tree back here. Will a tree even fit? 
Let me go grab a tree. Hang on. Okay, I don't even know if I can plant a tree back here. It might be too close to his house. Yeah, no. What if I plant one here? Or is that too close to the other tree? It's too close to the other tree. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We can't do a tree back here. This is annoying. This is like a giant space, and I have. I can put. this down. That is the only thing I can think of that will work. Because it is a like a 4x4 four four space, sort of. And then I can throw like an item down, I guess? I don't, I don't know. That doesn't look bad. And then I can throw down two more flowers behind here. That doesn't look too bad, actually. That's fine. This area we'll deal with at a different time. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Now I have this freaking heart of a tree. And I don't know what to do with it. Um... Let's decorate it. I guess we're just gonna put a heart of a tree right here. I'll put it right here. Okay. And now the last thing to end this video other than me grabbing whatever's in this balloon, is we are gonna go over to Tom Nook, and we're gonna change our, ooh, maxi dress. Cute. Okay, we'll finish the video off on this. Um, <laughs> we're gonna head over to Resident Services and grab a, um, grab a, well, we're going to change our house. Ooh, they're talking. What's wrong, Audie? That was a pretty heavy sigh. This pop star I saw on TV last night was so amazing. She was like everything I admire and more. I don't know if I'm ever gonna like, you know, be good enough to make it as big as she is. Don't sell yourself short. You are you and that is fantastic. I love that, Marshall. You you, you hype Audie up. I love it. You are a fearless bug charging towards the flame. Um, excuse me? Flame, not flame. I don't want to get burnt to a crisp. <laughs> no, I can do this. I just need to work super hard and get super glamorous. I'd be the biggest pop star ever. Great, I see. Great, I see. I see you've got your shine back. I look forward to your radical success. They're so cute. Oh my god. Two of my absolute favorites. Okay, I think it's free to renovate the, the house exterior right now that I've paid off my loan let's see uh, let's talk about my home I want to customize yes yes I am okay so we're gonna have to time travel at the very end just to see what it looks like which is totally fine so this is what I'm thinking so I'm ultimately debating between the white stucco exterior or the beige. I kind of like the beige a little bit more. Um, and this is the door I'm going with. I was kind of thinking maybe the green, but I like the, the white. It just looks really, really pretty. Um, and then I'm actually going to go back to the rustic mailbox and then the white roof. I was thinking maybe the, the fresh, but I like this one more. So which do you guys prefer? I think for now I'm going to go with this one. The yellow is so pretty too. I think I'm gonna go with the beige. Um, could change it. You never know what'll happen. Even this is really cute. I wish this was a little bit more muted. That's a cute color too. But we're gonna go with this one. Okay. I think we're good. I think I like this. I could easily change it by tomorrow. I'm the most undecisive person. Why do we get so many options for doors? Like, look how many options we have for doors. Did I did I choose this one before? Or was I looking at not that one? Uh, no, we're going with this one. Yeah. Okay. Why do we have so many options for doors, but like no options for tops of the house? Or roofs like we need this many options for all three and the mailbox too okay I think we're gonna go with this should I do a yellow mailbox <laughs> or this one's cute let's do the brown 
the wooden one. Okay, this is cute. I like this. We're going with that. I want it to just be very simple so then the outside I can put like whatever color I want um, and I'll be happy with it. So we're just going to quickly time travel to tomorrow. Um, of course, I couldn't go through this whole video without time traveling and then we'll wrap up the video. All right, what do we think? I really, really like it. I think if anything, I might change from the beige to the white, but I love the roof. I think the little, um, <laughs> the little mum wreath is so, so cute. And I love this color of the, um, mailbox. So cute. And what I also noticed when I was, um, loading up, we got Nook Miles because I haven't customized my house in a hot minute. And apparently if you remodel five times, you get 2,000 Nook Miles, so that's great. So, you know, we did a little remodel. We got some Nook Miles. Super, super great. There's Adobe. Let's quickly go say hi. Hi, Adobe. He calls me guacamole. <laughs> Alright, okay, so we're basically finished this video. Fun little let's play. Super boring, I'm sure. <laughs> but I like just running around my island and talking to you guys as we like, you know, change some things up. Another 5,000 bells. I'm doing really good with the bells today. Um, Alright, so yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Marty, hope that you enjoyed as well. He's a little preoccupied. But yeah. If you like this video, please don't hesitate to like and let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Are you as excited for spring as I am? I'm super excited for this um, time of year. It's my birthday in a couple of weeks, so that's always um, a plus. Usually people prefer the um, month or the year, the time of year that their birthday is in. And sometimes spring is nice around my birthday. Other times we've had snow because, of course, I live in Canada and anything's possible when you live in Canada. Um, with the weather, but yeah, we'll just sit up here. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, don't hesitate to let me know what you guys think in the comments, and if you're new to my channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe. I would love to have you as a part of the little community that we're growing here on YouTube. If you like this kind of chaotic, um, like, no plan kind of video, then, uh, definitely subscribe, and, uh, I can promise you that there'll definitely be more of those. Um, so that's everything. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!